Hello Tikis. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with change working directory action as part of FTP automation. First of all, we'll see what is this purpose of the change working directory action. By using this action, we can set the current working directory for the FTP connection. That means we can change the current working directory by using this action. All right. If you see over here, I have used open FTP connection. By using that action, we are trying to connect to the FTP that is 192.168.1.6 with the port number 21, right? But if you see over here, by using list FTP directory, we got the directories as well as the files, which we have in the particular FTP server. All right, now I want to change the working directory over here right so that what i can do if i want to work in real time scenario and i want to change the directory which i am currently working in that case i will use change working directory action by using this action we can set the current working directory for an ftp connection all right first of all we'll see what is the current working directory before going to change the working directory now let's go to the is manager there, if you see, I'm having a win FTP server, right? Let me go to advanced settings. There you can see the physical path over here. This is EFTP. This is the current working directory. Now I want to change this directory to some other. Okay. So how can I go ahead and do that? Let me copy this. First of all, let me go to the path. There you can see I'm having documents, learning test actions, PDF that I have. Okay. Let assume I'm having some other folders. I'm going to create two more folders. I have created two more folders. One is with the name of project one, another one project two. So now my current working path is that E colon FTP, right? But I want to change the working directory as project one. In that case, how can we go ahead and do that? Now, let me go back to the workflow. Over here, I'm going to use change working directory. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters, first one is the connection. So by using this connection, we are going to set the new working directory, which I need to work it, right? First one is the connection. You can see FTP connection. There I'm having the path E colon FTP. Now I want to change the working directory over here to project one so that what I'm going to do we have to set the working directory to over here. If you see my current working directory is E colon FTP, right? Inside that we have created one more folder that is project one and two. Now I want to work with project one so that I'm going to set the working directory to project one. All right. And if you see a variable produce, I don't have any variable produce for this one. Now, what is my current working directory? It is E colon FTP slash project one is my current working directory. All right, let's click on save. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a small change over here. I'm using lift FTP directory to check what are the sub directories on the files that what we have in the particular project one. All right, now let me go to the list FTP directory so that I'm going to remove this path so that we will know what is the current working directory that what we have. All right, let me click on save. Now, to see the output, let's run the flow. Flow execution started. And now if you see, the change work directory action has completed successfully and it has set to the project one, right? Now let me open the physical path for the project one. If you see in my project one, I'm having some PPT files. Right, so that almost all I'm having 14 items over here. So that these 14 PPT items that we will get it in the directories or in the files of the list folder that is list FTP directory. Now, if you see over here, I don't have any directories in the project one, and I'm having the files of 14 items which I have shown. You can see over here 0, 1, 2, and you can see up to 13. So this is starting index with 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 13. 
right and you can see each and every item that we are having with the extension of pptx because of all the files which we have in the particular working directory we have only pptx all right let me close that now i will tell you another way over here okay if you see over here that i am going to change it from my action is there a direct way to get it the working directly from the is manager yes it is now if you see i'm going for the inet manager or is manager there you can see i'm giving the physical path over here right e colon ftp now if i don't want to access the remaining folders which are there in the ftp directory in that case i'm going to mention directly over here as project 1 now let's click on okay now let me go back to internet explorer and there if you see previously i had documents learning test actions on pdf because of i have not executed once again now let me refresh this once again now if you see my directory path is e colon ftp project 1 so that all the items which i have just mentioned the all items are there but we are using automation process right power automate desktop and we don't have the access to change for the ftp server we can't change the physical path of the ftp server in that case if you want to change the working directory by using power automate desktop using ftp actions in that case you will use the action called change work directory by using this you can change the physical path from one path to another path but over here you have to understand one thing right now we are in the e colon ftp slash project 1 but and you want to change for the d colon test some kind of other working directory you can't change it externally but over here you can see e ftp is the is the directory what we have inside that if you have any sub directories and you want to change to the particular working directory in that case only you are going to use change work directory action i hope you understand how to work with change work directory action to set the current working directory as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day